don't know. I'm actually had a little bit of experience in Japanese. Uh, so, eh, Nihongo wa hanashi wa dekimasu. Uh, demo, I don't really know what to say after that. Meaning that I can only speak some of the words, but I can understand pretty much what people are saying. Well, 65%. Animes and games, of course, it takes a huge part of it. Uh, that's why I'm able to understand what people are saying, but I cannot say what I, what they are saying. Just like when you are studying English and you watch feel, uh, feel movies, you can understand it, but you don't know how to say it. And that becomes my nightmare, as uh, last month I had this... Oh no! In the last December 2023, I had a this kind of some uh, exhibition for my company, and of course my company is uh, kind of takes a huge part of Japanese culture, and there are a lot of uh, seniors that that are relatives to my boss, and of course they got invited and they also help with the exhibition i met those people we talking uh they're talking japanese with my boss being an, uh, even though he's an indonesian he spent a lot of time in Jap- in japan of course he understands japanese but me looking at these two people of course man it felt like an anime and at that point i feel like so this is how it feels to be someone that actually watch something but never really practice it which is Japanese some people probably English a lot of people kind of like that I know but up until that point I didn't really understand what they are what do they mean by what do you mean you can't understand but you can't speak it you know? and at that point it's like Eto so orewa hanashi e Composing structure right on the fly instead of actually understanding and it just you know become your second nature is really different because you had to think you had to process what you were going to say and then you just uh, had to double check and make sure it's correct so yeah it's kind of wrong so it goes like this this is the Japanese guy so ah yeah san ah domo domo hai and I was like I don't know. I genki desu ka? Genki. Ah, genki desu ka? Ah, ah, so genki, genki. Yeah. There's a lot of jumbled words. There's a lot of uh, messed up pronunciations. I don't. Even, I think I called one of those. Uh, one of the uh, the Japanese guy. Uh, like some kind of. I don't know how to put, uh, to explain it. It's like a slur. I don't know. Uh, it's like I didn't call him the way he need to be properly addressed. You know, it's like being a little bit disres- disrespectful. I'm afraid. Well, I don't know. I'm just f- uh, that's just my thing. Uh, my opinion. But I'm sure the Japanese people are very nice. They're very very nice. Very understanding. They know that. Oh, wait, this guy is saying from Tokyo, bro. No, no, no. And of course, me looking like this, of course I don't know, um, but I just might as supposed to. I talked about animes and games, which of course it was uh, the Japanese guys was the one who uh, actually started the conversation about it. So it's like, uh, anime, uh, anime, do, uh, Jaisa. Jujutsu Kaisen no Chainsaw Man and I was like oh alright here we go here we go and I was blabbering about <laughs> whatever is uh, on top of my mind you know I said Goju Satoru wa hi Atama Shiro wa yes I'm surprised that foreign people that knows that they are talking to someone that is not native but still manage to do their best to talk they still 
kind of understand what they are trying to say. It's not like just because you miss the sentences, they will automatically uh, automatically don't understand you. No, it doesn't go like that. It's probably the last thing that you ever need. All you have to do is just you know what you're trying to say and find a way to go to you know to say it. Even using some of body language, it works. You know, me in Saudi Arabia, body language is probably the first language that I use more often than English or Arabic. I don't know any of those things. But yeah, that's how it goes. So, Japanese, well, there's a reason why, just even though I've spent almost 20, 20 ish years of my life consuming Japanese culture I still don't understand Japanese like 100% first of all it's in, uh, it's insanely difficult not even not even the Japanese understand 100% of the kanji second of all there's this saying that if you really want to study language then you gotta think that you're gonna really really need it you're gonna use it you have this desire that's burning inside your heart otherwise uh, you will not learn it no you just won't learn it it takes dedication takes practice takes patience takes time and a lot of those things of course will be exist for someone that has the desire to learn but not for me i felt like as time goes on with the advancement of technology, we can just actually translate everything using our phone. I can just talk to people using, well, the Japanese that I watch for uh, the other from watching anime, even though it's not completely perfect. But if I had to go even further beyond that, I just felt like there's no need for me to do that unless, unless if I work at Jap in the Japanese company and I had to learn kanji, of course, that is, that's given for sure. But for someone that just uh, kind of intersects a little bit, talk with the, uh, meet with Japanese people and has a, you know, my boss acts as an uh, interpreter, I don't feel like I have the need for now. Sure, I'm gonna learn one or two kanji every now and then from watching feasible videos, but that isn't, that's, that's not enough for people to learn about Japanese. So that's why I just don't feel like I'm learning Japanese up until now don't get me wrong people who learn japanese are amazing they take their almost uh, their whole life just learning this language that's completely foreign to them and they actually use it sometimes um it's amazing but for me maybe not today who knows about tomorrow